This tutorial will introduce you to the elements of an APA journal article citation according to the APA 7th edition style manual. A citation is like an address, which provides the key elements to help a reader identify the location of the source. Citations can be created in a variety of different styles depending on the academic subject area. The APA style was created by the American Psychological Association and is used by scholars and students in the sciences and social sciences. Here is an example of a standard APA citation for an electronic journal article. You can also find it in the tutorial transcript. First, I'll point out that your references on your reference list should be alphabetized and use a hanging indent which means that the second line and any subsequent lines are indented. Now let's talk about the citation. APA citations always begin with the author names in reverse order. Last name, comma first initial, period, second initial, if there is one. If you have more than one author, as is the case here, each author should be separated with a comma and the last author should be preceded by a comma and then an ampersand. The year of publication appears after the author's names and is placed in parentheses with a period after the closing parenthesis. Next is the article title, which gives an indication of the specific topic of the research. Article titles use sentence style capitalization, which means that only the first word and any proper names, like countries or people, are capitalized. If there is a colon in the title, as you will often find in scholarly literature, the word immediately following the colon should also be capitalized. The journal title is the title of the publication in which the article has been published, in this case, the Canadian Journal of Zoology. In an APA citation, the journal title appears after the article title. The journal title is in italics to distinguish it from the article title, and the journal title uses headline style capitalization, which means that all important words are capitalized, so most words, except words like the, and, a, uh, etc. The next elements give the specific location of the article in the journal. The volume number comes first, and it's italicized, like the journal title. The issue number comes next, is not italicized, and appears in parentheses. Sometimes no issue number is present, and the item is identified only by volume number. Next comes a comma, and the range of pages where the article appears. Many electronic articles are identified by an individual Digital Object Identifier, or DOI, which is similar to a barcode on a product. The DOI is a unique numeral that represents the electronic article. There are still many electronic articles that do not yet have an assigned DOI. When that is the case, use the URL from where you retrieved the article. Articles that are available only in paper or print do not have an electronic version, so there is no need of a DOI or URL in the citation. Sometimes you may be given bits and pieces of a citation presented in a different order than in the APA citation. Here's an example, also found on page 2 of the transcript. How would you create an APA citation from these elements? Remember that each citation begins with the author names in reverse order with initials. So we'll start with Grossberg S and Seidman D. Next, the publication year in parentheses, so 2006. Next comes the article title, the main topic in sentence case, Neural Dynamics of Autistic Behaviors, Cognitive, Emotional, and Timing Substrates. The journal title comes next, using italics and headline style capitalization. So in this case, both words of psychological review are capitalized. A comma goes after the journal title. Then the volume and issue, 
So, volume 113 is italicized. Issue number, in this case 3, comes right after, in parentheses, not italicized. Then, a comma, followed by the page range. And finally, the DOI. Final citation, also available in the transcript. Although this tutorial focuses on APA citations for journal articles, APA style is also used to cite books, technical reports, and other types of scholarly information. For more information on all citation styles, see the DAL Library's Citation Style Guide. Start at libraries.dal.ca, click on Subject Guides, and select Citation Style Guides. Thanks for watching. For subject guides, live help, other online tutorials, and contact information for the five Dalhousie libraries, check out the links in the description below.